Okay, welcome back. So about a week ago, I released a video on Wilhelm Bubit's influence on the design of the Kimber R7 Mako, a long overdue video. If you ever start pulling at an errant string on a piece of clothing and it just keeps unraveling and unraveling, well, it turns out I jumped down the Boobits and Wonderland rabbit hole and it just keeps leading to Warren after Warren. So here's another video about his influence. So Kimber isn't the only manufacturer that's recognized Boobits genius. I just got a comment from viewer Jake who alerted me to the extremely successful but befuddlingly, as of yet, unreleased in the United States, the Taurus TS9. It's been available in Brazil for some time and reports from Brazilian users are overwhelmingly positive as are sales in other countries. At first glance, the styling and appearance of the TS9 looks like by now stock striker fired polymer 9mm fair, an ergonomic texture grip, Ambi magazine release, beveled grip frame, thumb rests, interchangeable back straps, front and rear slide serrations, undercut trigger guard, front pick rail, tritium irons, no optic cut, loaded shaper indicator, and 9mm yawn, right? Of course, it hasn't been released here, you might say. What does it have that the G3 doesn't? The G3 being the current flagship of the whole striker fired polymer 9mm Taurus line. What if I told you that the Philippine National Police torture tested it for 20,000 rounds without a malfunction in three separate platforms, not just one? Not enough? The Firearm Blog reported on March 28, 2019 that 20,000 pistols total were delivered to the Philippine National Police as a result of those torture test trials against other pistols, I might add. Not enough? Well, upon closer inspection, the TS9, so FYI, TaurusExport.com has user manual, tech specs, the whole shebang. It looks to be an almost exact clone of, get it, the BB Tech BB6 9mm designed by Wilhelm Bubitz with some styling changes. It has the firing pin block, the very unique safety lock that looks like Euro Paddle Magazine released at first glance. It's got the flush slide release, the flush slide to frame fitment with no gaps. It's got the flush rear slide plate with no room for debris ingress. It's got the in trigger guard takedown button for a vertical takedown. It's got the monolithic slide, the Boobits Browning combo action with 30% reduction in barrel tilt, and the lockup at the rear. So YouTube channel Travis P11 did a video on this pistol coming to the States two years ago, and Classic Firearms still has a landing page for it. And this was at the beginning of 2020. So with the advent of the G3 and the full family, including the just released G3 Tactical at this NRA show last weekend, I'm guessing that what happened is when the new leadership came into Taurus in 2020, and that was also in January, they axed the release of the TS9 in the US in favor of the much more traditional G3 line and expanded that into a full family line of striker fired 9mm polymer pistols. So what do you think after all of this? Will any of Bubit's unique design features ever gain traction? My personal feel is that all the features combined in one platform are just too outside the box for most people. Whereas just one feature, a standalone feature like the Bubit's Browning combo action, or the slide fitment to frame, or the monolithic backplate would be widely accepted on many new pistol models. Regardless, for me, the takeaway is that the TS9, through the Philippine National Police torture tests and subsequent duty use after that, has showed that the Bubit's design can be a solid, reliable host for a duty pistol platform, and that's with all of his design features combined. And that's something that people have talked about with the Kimber, and I expressed a lot of reservations about these design features because of Kimber's reputation for not being the most reliable pistols. That's not the case with this TS9. So I want to hear from you. Drop your opinion in the comments below. Are we in the US being shortchanged by a bias against Bubit's designs? Or is this just something that is much ado about nothing? Let me know what you think or even what you know. As always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Patreon and Teespring links in the description below. Help out the channel any way you can. As always, thanks for joining me on the journey. I love you, Road. Out.